Hi guys, this is Joshua from Multibound, and today we're gonna be talking about EXTREME! In part one, we found C, and C was C of X was 2x cubed divided by 2x minus, minus 8.5 to the power 1 half. So to be able to find the minimum length of C, we need to find the derivative, right? As an optimization problem. So the derivative is what? It's 1 half to the what? To the minus 1 half times the derivative of the inside by chain rule. So the bottom one, this is the quotient rule. So it's the bottom times the top times the derivative of the time, which is 6x squared minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, which is just 2. And divided by the bottom square. Now this becomes what? So we're simplifying the derivative. Now this to the minus one half is just flipping this around. So this is this. To the one half. Here we have what? 12x cubed minus 6 times 8.5 x squared minus 6 x cubed again divided by 2 x minus 8.5 squared which becomes 1 half again now notice this term is equal to this term. And 1 half minus 2 is negative 3 halves. So let's write the top of the derivative, which is 12x cubed minus 6x cubed is what? It's 4x cubed minus 6 times 8.5. x squared divided by, like I said, 2x minus 8.5 to the 3 halves. And we have still, we have this term left, which we can just leave it as 2x cubed, square root of that. Now, this equal to 0 means that the numerator has to be equal to 0. I guess we can still simplify this one half into both terms and we have in the top we have 2x cubed minus 3 times 8.5 x squared. Square root of 2x cubed, 2x minus 8.5, 3 halves. Perfect. Now like I said, to make this equal to 0, we put the numerator equal to 0. But the numerator can be simplified by x, right? x squared. So we have 2x minus 3 times 8.5 over this term again. So this equal to 0, implies two things, that x is equal to 0, or that this term is equal to 0. But x equal to 0 is not in the domain, right? Because we, we found that the domain 
of x was what? was 4.25 less than x less than or equal than 8.5 so we discard this value for this particular value we get what? 2xc equals 3 times 8.5 which implies xc is 3 times 8.5 divided by 2 which is 6 0.375 and this value is inside this domain so we just have to prove that this is the minimum length so let's draw a dry diagram again C prime let's put a straight line we put 4.25 we put 6.375 and we put 8.5 okay now what was the derivative equal to this whole thing now let's not worry about the bottom because it's always going to be positive be uh, because of how we restricted our domain now let's go to the top then if we get a value let's say let me copy and paste this. So if we get a value between 4.25 and 6.375, let's say 5, this is always possible. So we only have to worry about this. 2 times 5 is 10. Minus 3 times 8.5 is clearly bigger than 10. So this is negative. Now a value bigger than 6 and less than 8.5 is 7, right? 14 minus this is less than 14, so this is positive. So we have a minimum at this value. And that's our minimum x. But what we want to find is the minimum length not the minimum value of x so what do we need we need to plug in that value into this function c of x to find the minimum length so minimum length is c of 6.375 which is equal to we have to plug in that uh, function so it's going to be the square root of 2 times 6.375 cube divided by 2 times 6.375 minus 8.5 And this, after simplification, will give me 11.04. And this is our answer, guys. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please subscribe. Let us know any comments. And hope you like it.